right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that, actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. He's the parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. We've been reaching out. We're going to rely there on the folks in Durham. And hopefully we'll go back in the near future. We'll do an update video based on your comments. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to learn, grow, and golf. That might be the new saying moving forward. And I tell you what, we're bringing you the best golf content money can buy with your comments. It'll be a celebration here at number 5, Wearside Golf Club, a 4.5 with 180 one golf reviews to choose from this facility really kind of sets the tone for great golf it's semi-private 6,440 yards it's a parkland style course that is a par 72 built in 1892 it really does have all the amenities you need and a long history to kind of get the parfessor on the map for educational golf content. Moving us now into number four on this list. That is Knoxley Hill Golf Course. If you played this one, you know that this layout is very challenging and concerning for many golfers. It's a 4.5 out of five with 350 golf reviews to choose from. You got the Prince course, which we highly recommend you play, and there's 45 holes of golf here. So there's a lot. It's semi private, open to anyone. It's Parkland, stretching 6,577 yards. It's a par 70, built in 1992, and it's open year round. The LiDAR wasn't good to us on this one, but rest assured, we're going to go back. We'll do an update video and we'll set the tone right. Here we're looking at a oh, castle type golf course that always gets you excited. Moving into number three, Burspeth Castle Golf Club, a 4.7 with almost 250 golf reviews to choose from. This dates back to Howard's Colt Design Course, built in 1924. The course itself is very nice, stretching a long 6,400 yards. So nice that it's actually private. It's a Parkland style course. It's a par 70, dating back to 1924. This is a nice one. Also had some updates by Frank Pont, but for the most part, it still remains a nice course to close this list into the top two. And if you made it this far, we do highly recommend you subscribe because not only do we do lists like this, we're playing the golf courses here on this list. Moving now into our number two golf course is Ramside Hill Golf Club. This facility is a nice one. It's a 4.4 with 200 golf reviews to choose from. The facility itself stretching with two 18-hole golf courses setting the tone for incredible golf it's public you can get out here and play any of these two courses i would say it should be on this list anytime you get two golf courses at a facility you can see that they take great care of it and with a little bit of history it's always nice to have that sprinkled through a golf course if you played this one let us know how great it is you can see even just the pictures of the golf course look great Hopefully, we'll go back and we'll play this one in the near future. But we still have one more course here to take a look at. Swinging in to our number one golf course. If you made it this far, think about what other courses we've missed and write it down in the comment section. We want to turn it into a Reddit type feel. Swinging in to number one, Famous Dorm City golf club, a 4.5 with 205 golf reviews to choose from. This is the oldest inland club out there dating 1887 it's very old the course itself well it stretches a long 6,375 yards it's semi-private open to anyone that can get out here it's a par 71 with a slope of 128 and a rating of 70.5 with all this rich history in being open to the public and open year round. It's hard not to put this at number one. If you made it this far, we highly recommend you challenge this list and let us know which ones are the top golf courses. That's going to do it for our list. The Parfessor is out.